hello, we have this frequently asked problem and in this problem we have a little block that is pushed up against the wall and you're trying to push it push it to push it up and and let, 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 let's just read the question okay so it says the weight of the block is of the drawing is 0.65 newtons the coefficient of static friction between the block and the vertical wall is 0.580 um, what is the minimum force F required to prevent the block from sliding down the wall. Hint, the static frictional force exerted on the block is directed upward, parallel to the wall. Okay. Well, you know what we could do? Let's let's signify this into like a like a piece of um, a free body diagram. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, I'm kind of sleepy right now, so so please excuse anything that doesn't make any sense to you. I might I might ramble on and on about things that might not make any sense. So just ignore that part because I'm kind of sleepy right now. Okay, so there is a, a force of gravity, which is mg, which turns out to be 65 newtons. And there is a frictional force. So this is frictional force. This is Fs. It's called a static friction. And we have normal force coming from the wall. So this is going to be force normal. And that's going to be equal equal to the force that you push on. So that that's going to be it's going to be equal to it's going to be equal to to uh, it's going to be equal to this. Okay, and lastly, we have a force that you go upward, like that. Well, let me use a different color. So, just upward like that. Okay. So, uh, well, I got I got force of normal and like I got these two, this one and this one. I got those two forces by doing F of cosine of fifty for for this one and fifty because like when you look at here, this is a uh, this is forty and this is ninety. And 180 minus 40 minus 90 is 50. So this is so this angle right here is 50 degrees. So if you look at that angle and you want to find the horizontal, you do cosine. So so that's how I got it. So yeah. Um, so using this diagram, let's try to figure out a. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. Bring this diagram down. Um, I cannot choose it like that. Okay. So. Bring this diagram down right here. Okay. Okay. So what so what what is what is it asking? Well, it's asking that is asking for you to match the mg with force of friction force of static friction. So sixty five is equal to force of static friction. Okay. Well, what is what is the significant? Well, for force of static friction, right? And what is the other force that's acting on this thing? Well, it's this thing right here, right? What what is this? What is this? Well, this is uh this is actually the force force of y, so vertical force. So force of y that you put in up here. So the, this force right here. And this is force of x. Let's let's name this force of x. And force of x is equal to the normal force. So Fs plus plus the force of y. Plus the force of y. Okay, so 65. So how how do we how do we figure out what Fs is? Well Fs is um the coefficient times the normal force. So let's write that down. So coefficient, um, so coefficient times the normal force. So the normal force, so the normal force plus Fy. So I just I just substituted this into here, and I I made this cut this normal force this color because that's the normal force. Okay, now let's do. So let's rewrite this with numbers now. 65 is equal to this, which is 0 0.580, 0 0.580. So just 0.58. And what is a normal force? Well, normal, fo normal, normal force can be calculated 
by 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 the sine. I mean the cosine of 50 times force. And we learned this in in, in uh, several weeks ago, where we were doing a kinetic motion or something. So it's not 40; it's 50 because like. If you, if you look at 40, it would be sine if you're calculating this way because it's opposite over hypotenuse. And, and we're using 50, so it's cosine because uh, so katoa. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's going to be cosine. So it's going to be force times cosine of 50. So this is multiplied like that. And then plus y is calculated by, by uh, sine now because it's... Uh, opposite over hypotenuse so opposite over hypotenuse so if you so let, let me write this down real quick so um so sine of 50 is opposite over hypotenuse which is force because hypotenuse force and if you multiply force by here you get force times sine over sine 50 equals opposite so that's the height or that's the y and that, that, that that's how you calculate for x too the the x here too so so that's gonna be so that's gonna be force times force times sine of 50 so I just calculated for opposite and this is adjacent right here and then right here and 50 I use 50 here okay and you might get different numbers for like 0.58 or 65 newtons so you just keep in mind Keep that in mind while you watch this video. So six. So let's let's simplify this. So 65 is equal to, if you simplify cosine 50 and then you multiply by 0.58, let's see what we get. Let's take our calculator and let's do 0.58 times uh, cosine of 50. So that's 0 0.7, 0 0.37. So we get point. 3, 7 plus what is this F uh, for uh, point seven th point three seven F point three seven F because we still need to have that out there so plus F sine and and force of for this became force when you because you did cosine of 50 so we we uh we um yeah we we converted we converted from from components into the vector. That's what we. That's what we just did. Okay. So that f plus sine 50 over of f. So sine 50 is just 0.77. So 0.77f. So let's combine that. Ah oh, crap! Turned it off. Okay. So that plus. Let me. Okay. Calculator. It's non-functional. So that plus. That plus 0.58 times cosine. I'm just writing this again, so so I don't have to like, so I don't have to round in the calculator. Okay, so combined result gives us 65 is equal to 1.14 f. So let's solve for f now. How do we do that? Well, we just divide each side by 1.14. So, so let's let's divide 65 divided by 1.14. So we get 57.04. So our force is 57.07. I mean, sorry, 0.07 newtons. Okay, there's our force. Okay, and. And that's that's how you that's basically how you do it. And if you get a wrong answer, just uh, just check over whether you used your numbers instead of mine. Like right here, 65, or or um, 0.58 over here. These two numbers right here might matter. So, well, well, it's kind of matter. So yeah. Okay, and let's let's do B part B now. Okay, so using the same same free body diagram free body diagram well actually it's going to be a different free body diagram because since you're trying to move move it up this part is going to actually going to be flipped upside down so this part is actually going to go down as well this is going to be the 
uh, force of the the static friction that is okay all right so we have so 60 so for this one let, let's try to calculate the forces here so 65 newtons so we're, we're trying to counterbalance we're trying to make f of y equal to 65 plus force of friction so th so that um, it's at least zero so that it, it starts moving up so 65 plus plus force of friction is equal to force of y and another way to write this as we mentioned above is 65 plus um, um, uh, micro s times this the normal force is equal to function uh, the force of y this one uh, this one right here that's the force of y and that is how do we how do we do that we did f sine of 50 so so if you simplify this is you you'll just get 65 I'm just gonna write it in the same color now so 65 because you you probably got the gist of how you how to do it and if you didn't please just watch it again and uh, try to understand me because I might not make any sense to some of you so okay so cosine 50 is equal to F sine of 50 and I got this because we we did the same thing up here because these are the same same values so we just put the same numbers there so okay so let's let's com let's combine this so 65 so I'm gonna subtract 0.58 f cosine of 50 from each side so 65 is equal to um, I'm gonna do this in one step so sine of 50 this part minus minus 0.58 times cosine of 50 so then we get 0.4 so point 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 four f so if we solve for force we get sixty five divided point four so we divide point four by each side so we get one hundred sixty two point five two point five newtons so that is the answer for number b or part b and you 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 will have a different answer than this because uh well if, if you ha if you got the same numbers as I did then you probably won't I mean you won't because these are the correct answers because I've checked on my web assign um, so these are proven methods okay, so like well good good luck on your web assign and I, I hope this helped